Hi, I'm Jim Clary with AirModTraining.com. In this video, one of our associates, Sarah, is going to describe how to download the land cover and terrain data for input into air surface, which of course will go into AirMod. I think you'll find this practical video extremely useful as a how-to and also shows the advantages of these online videos whereby you can make liberal use of the pause and backspace and certainly can come back to it as you um, begin to, to travel down your AirMod uh, road. Again, we thank you for, um, for watching this video and um, certainly encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel, AirMod Training so that you'll be notified of any updates or additions of new videos. I'll turn it over to Sarah, and again, thank you. I'm Sarah with AirModTraining.com. I'm going to show you how to download land cover and terrain data needed for AirMod modeling. And please keep in mind that this is an ever-changing process, so please subscribe to our YouTube channel so you'll be notified if we upload a new video showing an alternative method to download either the land cover or the terrain data. The land cover data and the terrain data are needed to run air surface and air map respectively. This is the multi-resolution land characteristic, or MRLC, consortium viewer. This is the tool that you can use to download national elevation data or NED, and national land cover data. The NED is needed to run air map, and the national land cover data is needed to run air surface. So first, right now, when you upload the page, you're going to see the 2011 land cover data. So to change that to the 1992 version needed to run air surface, go to data, then layer management, then under land cover data, expand that folder, and if you scroll to the end, you will see there are two check boxes that are checked for the 2011 data. So we will uncheck those and scroll back to the top and you will see that there is one section for the 1992 land cover data. And we will select that. This data is only available for the continental United States, so if you're running this in Alaska or Hawaii, you will need to find an alternative method for calculating the land characteristics. So we're done with the layer manager now. So we are going to zoom into our area of interest and our example run is in South Central Colorado. So our facility is located in the middle of these two ridges here. We'll zoom in a little bit more. So this tool allows you to download seamless versions of the NED and the National Land Cover data. So to do that, we will go back to the Data tab here and go down to the Download tool. So under the Land Cover section, scroll down to the end and make sure you uncheck the 2011 version and again check the 1992 land cover data. And then also under the elevation section check the one-third arc second NED. And you can define the download area by coordinates using this button here but I tend to prefer to use the rectangular tool that they offer. So I will select that. I will hold my mouse down here and drag a rectangle over the area I need. And for each data set there is a 250 megabyte size limit so if it exceeds that it will split the area into two or more files to download. Both Air Surface and Air Map need these files to be in GeoTIFF format. You can see the land cover data, the output format, is already in GeoTIFF, but the NED will need to be changed. So go to Modify Data Request, and under the NED section, change the data format to GeoTIFF. Save Changes, and you'll be returned to this screen. 
to download the files, simply hit download and this may take a few minutes depending on the size of your files. And we will save this file in our example folder under the air map section. Next we will download the land cover data. This one typically goes a little faster. And we will move, go back up to the example one directory and save this in air surface. When the zip files are finished downloading, we can extract the GeoTIFF files. So go to the folder where we saved the NED file first. It's under air map, then NED. Right click on the folder and hit extract all. We don't need this extra folder under NED. Then hit extract. Go into the folder that was unzipped and you'll see there's only one TIFF file. That's the one we need to run AirMap. And I actually like to copy it into the directory right above this. So control C to copy, move up to the NED directory and then control V to paste. And I also like to rename it to something that I'll be able to recognize later. For this example, I will do ex1 underscore NED. The GeoTIFF file is the only file needed to run AirMap, so you can delete the folder and the zip file now if you like. Okay, now we will extract the national land cover data. It's the same exact manner. We will go to the folder where we saved the zip file, right click, extract all. We don't need that second folder name there and hit extract. So going into this folder, there's only one GeoTIFF file. I will copy that up to this directory here and then I will also rename it to something recognizable. For this example, I chose ex1 underscore nlcd. And again, you only need the GeoTIFF file to run Air Surface, so you can delete the folder and the zip file now if you would like. And that's all it takes to download the NED and National Land Cover Data GeoTIFF files. You are now ready to input these into AirMap and Air Surface. If you run into a problem with any part of your AirMod modeling project, we offer online AirMod training help that you can purchase from airmodtraining.com. During our session, you'll be able to ask us any question related to your AirMod modeling project. And please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, AirMod Training, so you'll be notified when we upload any new videos. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.